Now, moving on to the Eastern Conference, we'll get back to the Western Conference semi, or excuse me, finals to make a uh, prediction for each one. But now, Toddy, it's it's your time to get to the Eastern Conference semifinals as the one seed Celtics beat the four seed Cavaliers four to one, just as they did in the first round, beating the eight seed Miami Heat four one. Toddy, I see that big old smirk, but yet it should have been 4-0. It should have been 4-0. Didn't have to be by 20 points each game. But in my opinion, the Celtics should have swept these Cavaliers, especially without Donovan Mitchell for, what, the last three games or the last two games? At least the last two games. Thank you, Kevin. So the last last two games, they still should have swept them. And so go ahead, Toddy. Take your victory lap. But, you know, I, I'm going to find a way to rain on your parade as always. What does Doug Christie always say, guys? Pack them up and send them home. No, the Celtics are just, you know, man, I know it wasn't pretty, but we got them out of here in five minutes. We've been waiting. We've been waiting to see what we're going to play. You know, we've been chillaxing, you know, getting healthy. You know, Porzingis, a a report came out. Porzingis should be back probably by the second or third game. So we're we're, we're slowly but surely getting healthy. Um, I think just what a lot of people are just not trying to give us credit. Well, they they didn't sweep the Cavs. Oh, they didn't sweep the, the – they, they, they didn't get them out of here in four games. Like, okay, let's relax here, guys. Like, we win a lot of playoff games, you know. Like, we do what we're supposed to do. Like, we didn't beat the Miami Heat in – what was it? What was it? We, we beat them in five. If we would have beat Miami in four games, they wouldn't have said anything. If we would have beat the Cavs in four games. You're supposed to beat those guys. Like, okay. And so I feel like it's only going to stay like we've proven that we can win playoff games. Like this is Jason Tatum, what, six time to the Eastern Conference. Like he's been to the Conference Finals pretty much every year that essentially almost every year that he's been playing. Um, I think what a lot of people are just waiting to see is the Celtics win the finals. And they've been to the finals before, but just they came up short. And I feel like that's what everybody is going to just allude to. Like, they can't ever win the big game. They can never be, get to the big dance. But I think, you know, as young as Jason Tatum and Jalen Brown are, they have a lot of playoff experience. So, you know, kind of for them, they've, they've been here before. And obviously, um, they're the be- they were the better team, pretty much. And, you know, the Cavs were obviously depleted, missing a bunch of guys, Jared Allen, uh, missing Donovan Mitchell, obviously, those last two games. So, um I thought even if the Cavs were healthy, the Celtics would have been able to get them out of there in five games. Um, but now this is a new challenge. You know, you're going, you're you're going up against um, Indiana, which we'll get into a little bit later. Um, but you know, I, I I don't think the Celtics are. You know, I said that they wouldn't lose a game. I think that was a, I think it was two game two podcasts ago that we should win pretty much every game going into, I think it was Eastern Conference Finals or Western Conference Finals. But, it should. Um, but, you know, you know, a lot of people should wear hoodies when it's cold outside. They should look both ways when they're crossing the street. Like, it's just a bunch of stuff. That, that people will try to nitpick any and everything that the Celtics do. And that's just what's going to be until we get to the big dance and JT's holding that. Larry O'Brien trophy. Um, so we're just gonna we're just gonna take our wins as we get them, and we're just gonna keep stacking these victories and, until we get to the finals. And we're just here. To, we're, it's all business from here on out. People should wear hoodies when it's cold outside, but they also should wear hoodies when they left the AC on too long in their apartment and they suddenly got cold. <laughs> that, that's what happened to me. Uh, but anyways, Kevin. Uh, just as Toddy said, the Celtics should have swept their way through the first two rounds. Nevertheless, they didn't. But they are moving on to the Eastern Conference Finals again, as this is be- the Eastern Conference Finals is basically becoming the Celtics Invitational. But Kevin, what did you think about the Celtics defeating the Cavaliers in five games? I mean, it's not much to say. Like Toddy mentioned, it you, the Celtics aren't going to get the credit, you know, unless we see them play a fully healthy team. No one's going to give them the credit. Easiest run in playoff history. Blah 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 blah. Like Ty said, at the end of the day, only thing that matters is the W is the box score, and they won these games. But I think that mentality is going to have to change because you've played two teams that went in there saying 
you know, do we really have a chance? Our best players out. You know, we're at home. If we're going to win a game, we're going to win a game here. But that boy in Indiana ain't the thing. We'll talk about that. We'll talk about that later on. But we saw a lot of great things from Boston Celtics. But I wanted to take this time to really talk about the Cleveland Cavaliers and kind of what they're going to have to do moving on. Is this Donovan Mitchell's last game in a Cleveland Cavaliers jersey? We saw early in the season when Darius Garland and Jared Allen were hurt. We saw this team really play well. Now Jared Allen goes down and Evan Mobley's playing his lights out. You know, we're seeing Evan Mobley sit up there, stretch from the three-point line, doing all these things. Like we talked about with Sabonis and Miles Turner, having two big men really can kill an offense or can really make an offense. And I think it's kind of getting to that point where out of this four, their big four with Jared Allen, Evan Mobley, Donovan Mitchell, and Darius Garland, I honestly believe only two of them return. Um, we've seen Darius Garland go from an all-star to, you know, a second option and just his, he's just not the same player. So if they want to maximize this run and do whatever they can do, you trade Jared Allen to Los Angeles for LeBron James. What? You know? And we really get shit popping. We're going home. Oh, my gosh. Jared oh Allen my for gosh. LeBron James is crazy. That's some picks. <laughs> So LeBron's going back to Cleveland. KD's going back to OKC. He was at the game. He was at the game. Gave him a free five hundred dollar bottle of wine. They ain't just giving out to anyone to come six for side. Not not every fan gets a fucking video before the game. He was just like he was just a fan. Yeah, he was just there. Hey man, yeah, no big deal. You know, uh, owners so, giving him tickets like, hey man, I saw you're in town for Mother's Day. Why don't you come on through, man? Here's a bottle of wine and two courtside tickets for you and Miss Mrs. James. You know, here's the key to the city. Whenever you want to come back home, it's always here for you. Yeah, Dan. And we're gonna draft Bronny. <laughs> Your son. <laughs> Dan Gilbert is trying to make amends constantly and forever for that letter that he released after LeBron went to Miami. 